your boy Kitty the City, bro. Back with another video, back with another banger. And yes, bro, I've been wanting to do this video for like the past week. So I like, you know what? Man, I, I just got off work, you know, take me a shower, I'm gonna go ahead and do my video. But I couldn't because the people underneath me was blasting the music all day long. So yeah, so basically I'm about to get ready to hit the bed, just got the shower and all that good stuff. I don't wanna bring y'all my video on my Question Mid collection. You know, uh, not too crazy. Uh, that's what we want to do. But yes, man, I want to say, bro, I hope each and every last one of you all is having a good day. I appreciate uh, you all subscribing to my channel, uh, liking the video, all that good stuff. I appreciate that. Most important, though, I do like interacting with all of you all. Like my last um, Reebok question, you know, me a video right there, boom, first thing in the description. I'm still commenting back on comments. And uh, I feel like this is a sneaker that's as a select community. Uh, and yeah, man, I just wanted to showcase a few pair that I had, like I said, a few. Uh, yeah, so let's get right to it. All right, so man, first of all, I'm gonna just go with something that's kinda something that he had, but he didn't wear. And we're gonna go with the, the Team USA, right there, uh, Reebok, you know, the me, you know. 10 USA. So basically, uh, I think it was, what's it, 03, early 2000s, I know. USA team. Basically, this is the USA colorway. Even though AI never wore this sneaker, you know, it has number four. He couldn't get the number three, so he had to go to number four. A. Hey, so he he did, he did never wore these. He actually wore the course in twos. Uh, so this is just something they had, you know, good concept, but he never wore this sneaker. So, hey, I still like the color sneaker. I like the uh, sock line of not being white. They actually added different colors. Now, I do wish this toe box was probably like a red toe box. It's a leather toe box. We're not going to get into all of that. First one, USA, Team USA, right there. Me, it's questions, you know. And I also like how the questions are. It's not a sneaker that's like real controversial, like the Jordan ones. You wear the ones, the mids, the highs. People hate mids. I like how they keep it simplistic. Basically, you're going to wear the mids or you're going to wear the lows. Even though AI was playing, he wore highs but, and ankle braces. But, yeah, here we go. All right, that's number one. Number two, I would have to say, yeah, I had to go to the the ASG uh, mids, the red toes, suede red toe. Kind of put you in the amount of a clay color, red, like bricks, brick and mortars, or something like that. Uh, not ricky mortar, like a brick sitting on the side of your house, that, cl that clay color. But basically what I... I think this is basically a vintage red toe that's, you know, went through the aging process. Like with Jordans, we say, um, what it is, reimagine. So, you know, basically, I think that's what you're getting with the ASG uh, questions. Now, me personally, you didn't check my last video out. I got a good price on this. Do I feel like this sneaker is highly worth it? Yes, I do, but you got to be that certain type of audience to rock this sneaker. Cause this is something you're gonna have to really just get in your bag and think about what you're gonna wear. More of like a retro style, you can get away with this. But basically you see, all right, you know, you got the cut tongue, exposed foam, you know, got age, uh, midsole, but you do get a real nice leather, a real nice leather. Like a lot of your uh, higher end sneakers, your other, like other brands we're not gonna keep talking about, you don't get this type of material. But you, it takes a special type of person to rock this sneaker. And I just got this one, so I haven't rocked it yet. All right. Number three, I would have to say, I know a lot of people do not have this on a list because it's like more of a collab. It would have to be the James Harden collab with AI and uh, Reeboks, you know, make the James Harden collab. Boom. Now, this sneaker right here, I think I paid like $50 for this sneaker. Maybe 50 or 80 I can't quite remember. Probably somewhere in the middle off of eBay. Now, eBay, they did do the authenticity verification with this particular sneaker. Me personally, I'm a big fan. Now, the only thing I, only gripe I do have about this sneaker is this hurt, it hurts my feet because of this satin kind of sock liner and all, it is all the way through the sneaker, I believe. Hold up. No, it is. But basically, since it, has, since it doesn't have like that uh, cotton or that felt, uh, in, in the inside, even behind the tongue, it causes my feet to constantly slide downward and it actually tears up this toe box. Even though when I got this sneaker, it was like the questions are like one of the hardest sneakers to crease unless you actually shooting ball in. But yeah, chain horn collab right there, boom. 
I think the other one actually have a three on it. I'm not really sure. I don't have it with me. But yeah, boom, big fan. Now, this is like a reflective material, obviously. I don't think it's quite 3M, or it may be 3M. I can't quite remember. But I only wore these once. And they hurt my feet when I wore them. But it's a nice sneaker to have a part of the collection. All right, moving on. So, now we're getting into, like, some of the nitty-gritty. Because, you know, I wasn't able to get the, um, the Red Toes, the 2024 Red Toes. You know the story. Hey, Reebok skipped my sides. Chimps, Foot Locker, no other websites are having those unless I go to GOAT and pay resale. I checked stock it was like 2.30, I'm like, I'm not paying that. Because if you don't know, I'm a cheap person, point blank period. I spend money here, spend money there, but most of the time I'm cheap. And I'm back in that cheap mode. All right, so number four, we'll have to go. I know people gonna be like, bro, how is this number four? But uh, it has to be number four. It had to be the Blue Toes, the 2022 Blue Toes right here. Boom, hey. I just picked this sneaker up probably like um, maybe a month ago. Hey, I was able to get this sneaker for $58. I had a local, I had a store back home to order it. They shipped it to my house. I was able to get it. Haven't rocked it yet, but looking real forward to rocking these all in the summertime. Because right now the weather is kind of undecisive. Uh, you don't know if it want to rain. Don't know if it want to be sunny. Don't know if it want to be cold. You don't never know. Might have a snowstorm outside tomorrow. We really never know. But yeah, these right here, the blue toes, Crossovers, hey, if you don't know, hey, this is the sneak that AI crossed MJ over when he wore those cherry toys that I like so much. But he crossed MJ over and hit the shot. Even though it was a two, he hit the shot, he crossed over MJ. It is what it is. But yeah, like these, big fan. Bro, happy to have these. Really happy. Now, these would have been number one. I only have five. But this one right here. And the only reason that this sneaker right here remains number five i mean number one for me it only because if you don't know ai is my favorite basketball player of all time and then you know it's kobe then it's mike all right but if i gotta go top three I right. so we all know rp the mom had to say the kobe pe's bro the kobe pe's if you don't know i know uh kobe basically he was a um, a free agent a sneaker free agent um, so he was leaving Adidas and he was trying out multiple different sneakers from all different brands, uh, Nike, Jordan, uh, Reeboks, even some Adidas. And basically, and one, a lot of different sneakers that we really don't talk about to this day is one of these right here is the question me. Now, I wish it did have the eight on the back, but it has three. And all the rest of these, they actually have the three on the back. Like, you know, these have the three, Blue Toes crossover, um, you know, the ASGs. You know, the other ones, they don't. But this right here has a three. Now, I wish they had to put the eight on one sneaker and the 24 on the other sneaker. That would have been real fire. But, unfortunately, we didn't get that. But we did. We were able to get hey, the Kobe PEs, bro. Very happy. And I do think Kobe PE, his actual PE was a leather toe, not a suede. But, I mean, I knew but, but it's cool. Very happy to have it. The closest thing we're going to get, you can still pick this sneaker up if you have, like, Select sizes, you can still pick them up. Uh, Cause you know, check my last video out, boom. It'll tell you all about how much I pay for these. What did I get them from? But yeah, right now, bro, those are my top five on my, well, my only Reebok question. And I appreciate you all, bro. I just want to go ahead and leave, make this video cause I felt like it wasn't that many videos actually explaining or even talking about the Reebok questions. You know, the me is low, I don't have any lows. Don't really want the lows unless it's, unless it, uh, it's like one low that I like, but we're not going to talk about that. But basically, I want to make this video because I feel like a lot of people do not talk about the Reebok or Reeboks in general or the questions. They don't do none of that. Hey, but yeah, man, this is your boy, Key to the City, bro. Help me help you help me. Hey, and we out.